Hey, thanks for stopping by. In this video, we're going to talk about Biomutant and the upcoming current gen upgrade for Xbox Series X and S and PS5 and whether that's worth checking out. My name is Phoenix and welcome to the Phoenix Effect. So Biomutant, if you haven't heard about it already, which you probably have since you clicked on the video, but just in case you haven't, a, a brief overview, Biomutant is an action RPG game set in Earth way after humans are gone, and it's basically being poisoned. So you're, you're tasked with creating your character, which is kind of a cute little fuzzy guy, and this character is going out into this world and trying to save this life tree that is basically slowly dying, and there's all these different biomes and you fight enemies and you're trying to save this tree. Well, I was very excited for Biomutant before it came out. Um, there was a lot of hype behind it. The developer, um, Experiment 101, they uh, showed a lot of the game off before it released, and I was this close to pre-ordering it before it came out. But I'm like, eh, this is kind of a new developer I've never heard of before. I think I'm just gonna hold off on pre-orders. and. I've kind of shied away from pre-ordering games lately just because I've, I've been burned before and maybe you have too. So I just kind of waited and then the reviews came out and that kind of scared me off because it was getting like 6 out of 10s. And I don't have a ton of time so I try not to put too much weight into reviews but if a game's getting like a 6 out of 10 I'm a little scared by plunking down 60 bucks for it. and. You know, they're charging basically like AAA game price for this thing too. So I decided to hold off on it. Now here we are about a year later and it's finally getting a Series X and PS5 optimization update. And with this update, it's a little bit confusing to me because when the game launched, on Xbox Series X anyway, it was running at a native 4K at 60 frames a second. Well, this new update, the optimization update for Series X, is being toted by the developers as running the game in 4K, 60 frames per second. So I'm not exactly sure what they've been doing for the last year. Like they haven't, they've been very tight lipped about what all these optimizations and upgrades are. I don't. I don't understand why they haven't shown off more. So I'm, I'm very curious and I want to pay close attention and look at what's actually going to come out with this. Hopefully they'll shed some more light on uh, what they did. I'm, I'm assuming maybe some texture changes, maybe draw distance improvements, lighting improvements. If they're not changing the native resolution and frame rate, I would assume there'd be some other advantages to this optimization that you know took a year for them to do. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens there, but I'm very interested in buying this game right now. Let me know in the comments section down below if you've already purchased Biomutant. I've, I've talked to some people and I've got kind of conflicting views on Biomutant where some people think it's really great and the reviews didn't do it justice and some people are pretty harsh on it and say it's garbage, like it's this, it's a mile wide and an inch deep, like it's very shallow in its elements. And so I just really don't know about it. I'm kind of cheap with my money, I'm a tightwad. So my kind of rule of thumb is like if I'm spending 60 bucks say I'd like to get 60 hours of enjoyment out of it like my my kind of rating for buying games is for every for every dollar I spend I want to get one hour of enjoyment out of it so $60 game 60 hours but the new price point on this since it's a year old is coming out at $40 so with my scale, if I can get 40 hours worth of enjoyment out of it, it'd be worth picking up at this point. But I'm, I'm hoping maybe they add characters or extra life in, in the open world, more stuff going on, more quests or anything like that, maybe add some more to the game for old players as well, not just new players drawing new players in. So, I mean, if you've played it before, are you planning on coming back or... 
Have you had enough Biomutant? And if you haven't picked it up like me, are you interested in maybe picking it up now because of the enhancements coming out? Let me know in the comments section down below. I don't know, was $40 too much for a year old game? Yeah. I don't know, that's debatable. Either way, I guess, let me know down in the comments below whether you uh, plan on picking it up or not. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, a thumbs down. And um, leave any comments and discussions about Biomune, anything about Biomune. I love talking games, so I'll be reading the comment sections down below. And if you like this kind of content, just general discourse about games and I'll basically be blabbing about whatever games I'm currently obsessed about or playing at the time, so consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, Phoenix out.